Me and Sophia have been through every single like year of grade school together, so we actually met in preschool. We did absolutely everything together, and then we went up to HES, HK Middle School, and through HK we played field hockey together. I love the sport. Each team I've been on has been amazing, and especially Mercy, like we're a family on and off the field. I've met some of my best friends, and they're all so supportive. I knew Sophia's story before um, I started coaching here just because we were from the same town. So growing up, I had seen her story. It was all over the internet. So I just remember looking back and just seeing her just as a little girl and being like, wow, this story is so inspirational. And little did I know, a couple years down the road, I ended up here. My first year coaching field hockey year was her first year playing field hockey here. And she came over and introduced herself and said, hi, I'm Sophia Pepitone. And my eyes just kind of lit up and I was just in awe because seeing everything that she's been through and every single day she steps on this field, she's just got a smile on her face. When she was two, she was beginning to trip when she walked. And initially they just thought it was toddler behavior and then it, it got worse. And so she had an MRI at CCMC and they discovered a tumor on her brainstem. From there, we went to Boston Children's Hospital and they said that the choices were operating or chemotherapy. So we decided to go with surgery. Uh, the tumor grew back almost immediately after six months. So they went back in when she was three and they attempted to remove it again at Boston Children's Hospital under interoperative MRIs. But they had to be very careful because it sat on her brain stem. And so we followed it closely every three months, every six months. And after a couple of years, they noticed that indeed it was slowly growing back. And so when she was six, they did a final surgery and they were a bit more aggressive because they knew it was the last time they would go in. And they were able to remove the whole tumor, but it came with a stroke. And that's where the paralysis came from. From the very beginning, it was, I don't want to start to cry, it was really difficult. Everyone's really been there to support her and cheer her on, and, and so we're blessed in that way. I was next to her side by it all, and I've never seen someone tackle such hard things as I've seen Sophia, and she's honestly one of the strongest people I know. My parents told me at a young age that I can do anything I put my mind to. So I gained strength back in my left side and I just put my mind to getting back. We thought the best thing was the natural way of keeping her healthy. She skied, she danced, she cheered, she did swimming, she's done tennis. She's tried just about everything. She never really let anything stop her. She just really always, she always wanted to be with everyone, you know. She wanted to have fun. Honestly, it was very helpful. My dad was a physical therapist, so he would show me stretches at home and stuff like that. So he was always working with me to try to build my strength back up. And then in middle school, she began to play field hockey and she just really loved the sport. And she has been playing ever since. She plays with just full-blown confidence. And no matter what she says, I'm gonna figure out a way to get it done. And she's got a smile on her face while doing it. And I feel like kids like that are hard to find. Because I compensate on my right side and put more pressure on my right side, there is days where my left side hurts a little bit or my hip flexors hurt. So my aunt and uncle own suburban physical therapy. So I'll stop by there and they'll stretch me out. It's cool to see her out here, you know, talking to the kids and having her younger teammates look up to her. They'll look to her and say, Sophia, you know, what do I need to do? And she'll say, this is how you do it, this is how you fix it. And she's really taken on kind of a coach and leader mentality this year. I'm proud of her. I'm super proud. Um, I think I've learned a lot from her. You know, I think not holding her back and allowing her to be a typical peer was the best thing we could have done for her. You know, we never sat home and felt sorry for her. We always just kind of tried to treat her as typical as possible. In the future, I do want to coach field hockey and share the love that I have for the sport with other people. And she really doesn't let 
what happened to her really define her as a person. And I think that's the coolest part about her is she just takes charge on the field and she has really this contagious positive energy that makes everybody around her feel better about themselves. So having her on here as a leader and a captain of the team was an absolute no-brainer. I definitely see her as such an inspiration, whether that's on the field or just in class or anything. Like, she's definitely a role model for me and she's definitely someone I look up to every day. I wouldn't want it any other way. I love Mercy and I love Mercy field hockey. And honestly, if I didn't have this team, like I would be lost. <laughs>